With 61 generating sets and 11 power stations across the country, the Guyana Power & Light currently has an installed capacity of 220 megawatts of power, but is generating approximately 182 megawatts of power for consumers on the national grid. That is just above the needed energy for distribution with peak demand averaging at 145 megawatts. But as Abdul Yusuf, GPL's generation manager, explains, it is to ensure there is continuous power provided to communities and to guard against shutdowns. For us to continue and guarantee the generation and the, and the power to the grid and to the consumers, we have to ensure that our maintenance program is good and our fuel quality that we receive is good. If the quality of the fuel is not good, we're going to have incomplete combustion. It's going to take more power more fuel to generate one megawatt of power. If the quality of fuel is, is good as per requirement and within the range that is specified, then we, have, we will have maximum output from the generator at a reduced rate of fuel. And if the, if the fuel is reduced, then obviously the cost will be less. Yusuf explained that GPL utilizes roughly 45 gallons of fuel to generate one megawatt of electricity. But bad fuel means higher generation costs. Fuel prices increase from a reasonable landing cost of about US $85 per barrel in 2021 to US $150 per barrel this year. One of GPL generation stations uses about 23 barrels of fuel a day, which amounts to large shipments being received at least twice monthly. The four main sites for generation of electricity are Skeldon, East Burby's Quarantine, Kingston, Georgetown, Vridanoop on the west coast of Demerara, and Garden of Eden along the east bank of Demerara. With the long-awaited 46.5 megawatt station at Garden of Eden now in stream, it offers a boost to the company's generation capacity with well over some 30 megawatts in reserve. Yusuf says there are people working behind the scenes conducting dispatch operations who have become the heart of GPL's efficient generation of electricity. But likewise, maintenance of the engines has emerged as equally important and costly to conduct. We have different types of maintenance. One, each one of the maintenance that is critical is the major overhaul, which is the 12,000 maintenance intervals that we have on these units. Now, during that maintenance, what we do is a complete look into the engine, complete dismantling. We take out all the components, we examine the, all the components, we examine the blocks, the alternator, we service it completely. And that is, when we finish with that, we, there are some replacement. We might either replace the pistons, liners, uh, cylinder heads, or, um, or connecting rods, bearings, uh, items within the engine that is being looked at and that is measured. Maintenance is one of the areas that we are focusing a lot on. Because if you don't maintain an engine, you will not get the output from it. And if you can't get the output, all you will be doing is wasting the uh, things. It's going to be more costly. We can't operate a, bi a business like that. Just like without fuel, without maintenance, the engines can't work. The two have become the major cost factor for the power company. GPL's average generation cost on a monthly basis for its served areas amounts to almost $3 billion. GPL's chief accountant, Wendy Jones, explains that the cost is not fully passed on to the consumer, with GPL suffering losses well over $200 million each month. That's a regenerating... Um on a monthly basis, an average about eight to three thousand kilowatts. We bill in customers about sixty thousand. So the difference between there is our losses, because remember we also have peak periods. Losses now can be divided into trans, um, technical and non-technical, which is the commercial loss. But this is where the role of GPL's more than 200,000 customers become important to ensure that GPL minimizes its losses and has the finances to procure fuel and run its generation operations smoothly. We tell you more about that in our next episode.